we'd go paladin be nostalgic we know what nostalgic does it means that we're gonna get a blood we're gonna get a sepia filter well this one's a little bit more oppressive than the first game all right let's take a look at this here warden helm horn blade make me heavy got enough money for the one i don't have enough for both against the end of September where all these videos come out so there's gonna be a break probably between some point I want to say around I don't know video 15 or so I'm not a hundred percent sure based on what I've already <laughs> uploaded um, but there's gonna be a break where I'm gonna get working on this for uh, a couple weeks while I Start working on the Halloween videos. Hooray, Halloween videos! Which I'm trying to figure out if I want to just do one week of Halloween videos or if I just want to, if I want to do a whole month. A whole month's gonna be pretty and obnoxious, but you know, we'll see. We'll see what I got I can record in the meantime, and then we'll go from there. All right, we're going to the halfway point, which is the Sun sh Shrine? Sun Tower, there we go. And now we're at the halfway point. We're gonna just go along. We're gonna keep all this health. We're gonna beat the boss. It'll be great. Definitely not going to immediately die. I took half my health. That's obnoxious. Alright, we're gonna choose... Sure. Archer class. Good class. Oh, 
What a jerk. Get all my money. What do I get in return? A boat ride. That's nice. Can I teleport back to this exact spot? I've talked previously about the concept of magical thinking and what brought up this thought in my mind again is uh, the old adage that you don't want to meet your heroes you want to kind of leave them in your mind as some sort of you know I don't know Christ like figure you know that you'll be like oh man I love this guy he's great you know definitely didn't hold values that we've long since uh, 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 um, abandoned. You know, like, oh man, I'd really like to meet George Washington, pick his brain on what he thought about, you know, founding a nation. But, you know, he'd probably get there and, you know, smell like a dead person. He didn't have any teeth. Or he might say something like, you know, I don't much believe in the in the freedom of the the Negro, you know, or something even worse than that. And then you're like, I don't know, man. Kind of, we kind of res uh, regard you as like, you know, a demigod in this country. You know, when you're saying that kind of wrecks my opinion of you. But I suppose we all have our our own, you know, whatever you want to call it. Every country has their hero, you know. Uh, in France, I'm told it's Joan of Arc, so I would have guessed it would have been Charlemagne, but I guess that makes sense. He's, he's a little bit more contemporary. You know, by 400 some odd years. 600 odd years. I saw one that was, uh, they talk about, like, founding, you know, you know, new nations in Africa and, like, how, like, well, their, their, you know, country's hero is this dictator that ran the country till, like, 2000. They're like, man, that was just yesterday. I think it's actually worse than that. Some of them are, like, the new nations are so new that, like, you know, their first president is considered, you know, like a national hero character so like for example Nelson Mandela South Africa you know he ran the country for years and years and years and just passed away like a decade ago or so and yeah I was mainly thinking about how George Washington would probably smell bad. Yeah. Like, in comparison today, today's terms, you know, where you get a bath every day and, you know, give your teeth and, you know, you didn't step in a pile of whatever, what's it, you know? If 
favorite part about rogue games is you never know when you know doing something like this is not really going to affect the run and other times when it's just going to kill the run you know like okay you know there's some characters are gonna some characters are going to do, you know they're gonna they're not gonna beat a boss or they're not gonna beat the whole game all by themselves they're gonna be considered successful because you know they produce a lot of money or they get to the halfway point you know and they you know they they help your future generations with what they're trying to do okay every so often you run into one of these or it's like mm, maybe i shouldn't have done that maybe i should have just kind of that back and you know, save my health for the boss instead of losing half my health for this one challenge. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe there's always a chance that I could find some chicken, you know, and go well for me. We're already to where the boss is, so that's good. We just need to figure out how we're going to make some health up. Go backwards. Try to make some health that way by going back to the beginning. Or we can take the boss on as we are. So, in case you didn't gather from that, I was thinking about coming back here and trying to see if we could uh, chicken. There's, there's a good start. If I can make enough chicken, I can get full life and we can head back to the boss again. Oh, look at that, more chicken. Great. More chicken. Plus, every time I kill a guy, we get more stuff. And every time I get hit, it sets me back. So that's the, the trade-off we're gonna play. Mm, that was gross. Mm, I think that's still not positive. Should be in that pause. Hmm. Getting lucky with the chicken right now. Obviously, these guys get to replenish a little bit of my health. Not gonna be a ton of health. Bada boom. Need more chicken. Or if I just kill like another, say, 10 enemies. Yeah, maybe okay. Feed all the enemies. Yeah, this will work, I guess. Well, I defeated one of the most difficult enemies first, so this looks pretty good. guy somewhere. There you are. All right. So now should be a pretty good time to maybe head back towards the boss, unless I want to be greedy. I like being greedy, so, you know.
And she deals more damage. Poison. I like poison. Yeah, we got full life because I lost a little bit of life doing what I did. Now I don't have full life. I just blew everybody up. Hmm. I'm not worth the trade off in health right now. Teleport ourselves to the boss. We'll fight the boss now. Oh, we already know what he's gonna do. He's going to pop down like this. We're gonna do a quarter damage and he's gonna summon his backup guy. His other half, if you will. It shouldn't take too long to get to the second portion here. Especially considering how big he is. Yeah, that's a bunch. Yeah, so if I can keep them both on the same side of me, I think we'll be good. Cornered. Get out of the corner here. That's some ballsy ass moves there, Chris. That's some ballsy ass shit right there. one of the void beasts that's cool so now I just need to stay alive and defeat the other one you guys don't seem all that difficult because there's a they're slow B you know their attacks aren't that devastating and see I can go underneath this one are not nearly as difficult as the last boss. Alright, you're dead. Well, that was easy enough. That was, what, two tries? First try was at half health. Peace. Void Beast defeated. Right, let's do this. Get an achievement. Get the picture up there. Um, and then we'll move on to the second part. It doesn't really look like the guy I beat. So, hey guy, nameless soldier. Well, past my prime, I would never start against chance against those beasts. You have my thanks. Thanks, nameless soldier. It's been a long time. Long, it's been a long winter for those inside. He's always there just long enough to direct you to where you need to go next. Or what you need to do next. Hey, hey pizza girl. 1750, sure, I'll gladly unlock this thing. So I don't have to worry about going to the halfway point anymore. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of the woods that, from the first game. I wonder if I'll run into, um, 
Yep, immediately run into wargs. I wonder if these guys are going to be as bad as their... Um, Rogue Legacy 1 counterparts. These guys were super aggressive. Well, they seem slower at, at very least. And stupider, apparently. Mm, speaking of stupid. sort of double jump or something or some sort of new move like flying or something to that extent that basically allows me to get up there or conversely the game could just give me the middle finger like it did at the beginning and be like nah just get good now, snow's interesting or whatever that like I presume that's snow pile yep that slows me down probably makes my jump slower well is my guess. Right. Ah, this could be worse. What are you? Oh. Great. Not a guy that I gotta fight. Oh. Little icicle things? That's interesting. I don't know what to do with the icicles though. That makes sense. Close. Mm, I somehow avoided the spikes there too. Do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's suck it. I stomp on you with my big feet. Taking damage and then jumping out of it from there. I don't think that's gonna happen. I gotta find where the next special thing is so we can move on with this. Unless, of course, those don't do anything, then I don't know. Then whatever. Okay.
up. I'm gonna be dead. Double XL guys. All right, I think we accomplished our goal for today. We beat the boss. Um, so change is slow, but it's relentless. All right. Oh, like I said, I think we'll call it an episode here. Uh, when we come back, we'll move on to the uh, winter area, winter garden area, and uh, hopefully find a new move or two um, and move on with this game. So I will talk to you guys next time. And until I see you then, I hope you have a good one.